Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, December the 7th. It's the second week in Advent and the scripture for this service. Psalm 15, Revelation 1, verse 1 through 8. And join me in singing the third verse of Comfort, Comfort Ye My People. Make ye straight what long was broken. Make the rougher places plain. Let your hearts be true and humble, as befits his holy reign. For the glory of the Lord, now our earth is shed abroad, and all flesh shall see the token that the word is never broken. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Psalm 15, and please recite it with me. My God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? They that walk uprightly and work righteousness and speak the truth from their hearts. They that do not tell lies and do nor do evil to their friend, nor disgrace their neighbor. In whose eyes the wicked is condemned, but honors them that fear you. They that swear to do no wrong and keep their word. They that take no interest on a loan nor take bribes against the innocent. They that do these things shall never be moved. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of the prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth to him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood and made us to be a kingdom of priests serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Look, he's coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account, all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Most High God, 
who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of St. Ambrose and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And on this Memorial Day of the attack on Pearl Harbor, let us make our prayer for peace. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength is known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all people may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.